Good morning YouTube! In this video, I'm going to show you how you can put the latest version of Gingerbread Android 2.3.4 on your Samsung Galaxy S. Uh, the update we're going to do today is the factory firmware from Samsung for this phone, for the Samsung Galaxy S i9000. The latest firmware from Samsung is JVP. So today we're going to flash a full install of JVP on the Galaxy S. Now the good thing about doing a full install is the, the starting point of the phone does not matter. Uh, it does not matter if you're starting from a Claire or, or Froyo, if your phone is rooted or not rooted, if it has been lag fixed, if it's got running a custom ROM, all that does not matter because we are going to do a full flash. Uh, we're going to do a full install. That means you're going to lose everything. So you should, uh, before you start, back up uh, everything you need to. Back up your contacts and uh, back up files, texts, uh, whatever else that you need to from your phone. All right. Let's begin. Okay. We are now going to download... Uh, the file xxjvp.rar. Um, the link will be provided below. Uh, this uh, file that we download is going to contain the full JVP package as well as the Odin application we need. Okay, so I'm extracting the file now. The, the password the, there was samfirmware.com. So uh, Let's uh, let the extraction process finish here. We have all our files extracted. So we have three files here I'm going to draw your attention to. There's a code file, which is uh, about uh, 280, uh, 3000 kilobytes. There's a CSC file which is uh, 87,000 kilobytes almost. And there's a modem file, uh, which is quite a bit smaller, about 12,000 plus kilobytes. Uh, you want to make sure you have these three files. You also want this 512.pit file. It's a very small file. And then this folder contains the software tool that we're going to use called Odin. So once you have all this, you have everything you need uh, to start the update. Uh, now some prerequisites is you'll need to make sure that your phone can connect to your computer, the dri that the drivers are installed, um, so that Odin can recognize your phone. Okay, so let's open Odin. There's Odin uh, version 1.85, so I'm clicking on the .exe, and there's our Odin application. In Odin, we're going to select four different files from the folder that we uh, create, extracted everything to. So let's first select the PIT file. Then let's select the PDA file. Then let's select the phone file, which is the modem file. It starts with modem. And lastly, the CSC file. GTI 9000 CLC multi, that file. Okay. So we have four different files selected to do a double check just to make sure you have the right files. The pit file ends in .pit. The PDA file is the file that starts with code. Uh, the phone file is the modem file. And the CSC file is the CSC file. Pretty simple. Uh, so that's quite straightforward. Also at this point, we're going to check off auto reboot and repartition and F reset time. So only repartition I had to check. The other ones were already checked. 
I'm also at this point going to check off the phone bootloader update. Okay, now that we have picked our files, uh, next thing we want to do is get our phone into download mode. So that's another prerequisite. If you haven't, uh, if your phone doesn't have the three button method to get into download mode working, you want to make sure you get that corrected. Okay, so to get into download mode, the volume down, home and power. And there, we are in download mode. So let's plug in our phone. When you plug in your, the phone, you should see this box turn yellow. And in the message area here, you'll see added. Uh, once you see that, everything looks ready to get started. So our phone is plugged in in download mode. Um, Odin is communicating correctly with the phone. The correct files have been pointed to. The correct options have been checked off. We're ready to get started. So let's uh, begin the flash by pressing the start button. At this point, you just have to sit and wait. Um, on the message, uh, in the message area uh, on the left here, you'll see the progress as it's going through the update. Um, the whole procedure should take only about five minutes or so. So we let it sit. Uh, at the end of the flashing, the phone will reboot. Once the phone reboots, we'll be done. So uh, I'll just forward through this part so that we can get to the end of the flash. Okay. Uh, the flashing is finished. We see the big green pass here. So that looks like everything went well. And uh, our phone should start the reboot here in the next few seconds. Yep, there we go, the rebooting has begun. Okay, so now our phone is rebooting for the first time with uh, Gingerbread 2.3.4 from SAMHSA. At this point, we, can, we are finished with Odin we can uh, disconnect the phone from the PC as well. As you can see, it says remove when you disconnect it. So I'm gonna close Odin. And let the reboot complete. Okay, so our phone has rebooted fully, and uh, now we'll have to set up everything again, log into um, your Gmail, uh, set up your wireless, and so on. Firmware version 2.3.4, build number gingerbread.jvp. So uh, that's it. That's all you need to do to get the latest version of Gingerbread on your Galaxy S. Uh, let me know how it goes in the comments. Thank you very much again for uh, all the subscriptions. I uh, really enjoy getting your messages and requests for videos. Talk to you soon. Thank you for watching.